they really wanted to wow, and so they started with a new IP from the makers of Heavy Rain called Beyond. Yep. yep. Quantic Dream back at it again to develop the emotional experience that we talk about. And it is beyond amazing. <laughs> um, I like what you did there. It's actually based off of a real person. To is a degree, it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe uh, I believe they're real. I, uh, that was my takeaway from it. Jody Holmes, who is played by Ellen Page yes. in the game, mm-hmm. um, is the, the Capable first... Capable of controlling ghosts. Um, or the person who they said was always feeling like there was something invisible there mm-hmm. that she could sense yes. that no one else could. I think that Jody Holmes was that real life person that it's based off of. Gotcha. Well, she is a uh, it's it's an interesting twist of sci-fi and horror and action adventure. Mm-hmm. Like it, it makes it's you It's so think. interesting and it sucks you in. Yeah. Um, Ellen, Ellen it, Page is is really good at um, at doing that with her characters. You really feel for her, and um, the 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 opening of the game they showed us, which w- the first part wasn't gameplay, was um, ten y- minutes of awesome. Well, really, you, you really felt for the character. The the, the character obviously seemed um, a little bit out of it. She was sitting in a some kind of county jail, right? Uh, there was a local cop there, and then eventually a SWAT team shows up. Mm-hmm. And uh, this this whole SWAT team of guys come in to get this girl, uh, this little, you know, seemingly weak girl. Right. So it's an interesting situation. And uh, they skip forward a little bit. Uh, she's wreaking havoc across the town, <laughs> throwing destroying, people around, destroying setting everything in her setting wake. things on fire. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of rem. When I when I first saw it, um, it kind of reminded me of the movie Carrie. Okay. Uh, where they pour the the pig's blood on her, and she goes nuts and burns the whole building down. Right. Everybody dies. Right. It's it's kind of like that. Uh, from yeah. Th- what I what I gathered from the what we saw of the game. Yeah. It it looks incredible. It is almost single handedly the reason I want a PlayStation because I love it. I want to I want to put something on record here and it and it bothered me. Okay. Something not about the press conference but about the promotion of this game. Okay. I was talking to a couple of people right before the show, uh, just chatting with some people back at home mm-hmm. and I'm talking about some stuff that we saw at E3. That's they want to know what what I saw. They Absolutely. always do. So, I'm sitting there going, "You got to check out Beyond. It's a mm-hmm. great game." So, we go and pull up, we share our screen, I pull up the cinematic uh, the trailer mm-hmm. on YouTube. The 2-minute version the two-minute version, my friends, does not do any justice for this game. Now, there's two reasons why. One, it's too short. doesn't explain anything. Right. Two, they cut the scenes between the silence and the SWAT team mm-hmm. and blend them. Oh. And then she talks in the room, which totally ruins the feel of oh. what that character is for the game. Well. So if, you're gonna, if you want to watch the trailer and learn more about the game, go and watch the extended version. Yeah. Understand the character because if it's... Again, PS3 has the best characters, and Jack Trenton was all about that in this conference. To enjoy the character and understand why this game is different, you have to understand why the character is. Right. So go watch the 10-minute cinematic. All the scenes are in real time, and you'll respect and enjoy the platformer. Absolutely. Absolutely. 